thought I'd do part three of the Sakoni and Jolly um, situation with the child, because I didn't say what you do, the naughty step ideas, like how do you implement that when a child's pooed in the bed sort of thing, or spread poop everywhere. So what I'd do, just off the top of my head, <laughs> for example, is um, take the child and wash it off, you know, obviously give it a warm shower, be nice to it. So it's a friendly world, you know, teach it the world is a friendly place, you know. It's not the child's fault, it doesn't understand. And, um, but then, you know, when that's done, you know, just do what's necessary. Take the child to where the sheets are and show, Mummy's now annoyed, I've got to wash these flipping sheets, you know, because you've pooped in them, right? Don't hide the fact that you're annoyed, but don't be angry, you know, and the child might be a bit afraid because she's annoyed you or whatever, but just show, you know, just be real kind of thing. You know, this is why I don't want you to do it, darling, you know. And you maybe could, while you're washing her off, explain that that's not good, you know, I don't like poop, you know, it's, it's, it can cause, you know, poison or whatever, I don't can't think the word bacteria, you know, you know, just explain stuff nicely and friendly, it doesn't matter that they don't understand, it's having a nice friendly tone, and, um, yeah, do, but show her that you're annoyed, you have to wash the sheets, because I've got a lot to do today, I can't cope or whatever, you know, just be real kind of thing. But don't take it out on the child. Say, but I still love you, though, because you didn't understand, you know. Just explain, you know. You don't have to you know, read loads of books about it and stuff. So, yeah, that's my take on it. <laughs> Bye for now. If you're into this stuff, there's um, a woman called Tori Hayden um, who writes books about um, special needs children because she teaches them um, kind of thing. And um, actually, somebody's getting up. Oh, that's right. <coughs> and um, yeah, and everything she love underpins everything that she does. And she treats kids with respect. You know, she'll take hours out of her time, even her spare time, to take a kid to a cafe or something. Or if it's having trouble, I mean, once a, a kid got under the table, and. Um, because it couldn't cope, that's what it's, its way of um, dealing with things. It would get under the table, and it did it in the cafe. And um, he didn't want the waitress to know, and she sat there for two hours or something until the place shut and was able to get him out without her seeing or something like that, you know. Well, and once um, she lay down on the floor because the kid had got under the stage, you know, in the, cl in, the, in the classroom, and she sat and talked to it and talked to it until it came out of its own accord. She didn't scream at it and and try and, you know, get the fire brigade to get it out, you know. She treats them with love and respect. That's what needs to underpin the whole world, you know. Love and respect for each other, you know. If you give respect to your kids, you know, you're going to get it back. <laughs> okay, I'm really going now. Bye.